I worked from a number of different drawings initially and for different time scales with these drawings. Uh, the main one I suppose I resonated with was the Leonardo da Vinci tank drawing. And it's a drawing, um, it's a kind of component drawing in a way with about four different elements. And they're really quite violent elements. Uh, an upturned, what looks like a tank, a completely enclosed vehicle, a spearhead, and this horse-driven, what looks like a cutting machine to be used in warfare. And it's an incredibly violent drawing. The drawing is presented to you not on a horizontal surface, but it's more tilted towards the vertical. And in a way you're confronted with this drawing at eye level, which is a very particular presentation of the drawing. And when you're looking at an original Leonardo drawing, it's a very powerful thing. It has a kind of aura in a way, and it does engender a certain amount of fear, you know, because it's so incredibly drawn. Uh, you know, the, the ideas that are there are really strong. And you automatically wonder how anything that you can do can pull from it or relate to it in some way because you're always going to be working on the back foot so to speak. So I've found myself actually for a long time just sitting looking at the drawing and re-looking and really investigating the detail of the drawing in some way. And it's quite a perverse thing that such an incredible artist was actually employed to generate designs and drawings related to machines of war. You know, I think it's really fascinating when he also created some incredibly beautiful pieces of art. Um, so after a long time just looking at the drawing, I, th I thought it was just so kind of intrigued by the violence and the speed and the mechanisms that were drawn in there that I thought I would react almost violently myself with a violent kind of drawing. Uh, and I just got the darkest, fattest materials I had with a whole lot of different kinds of pencils that I had with me and just started really attacking the sheet very, very quickly. And I was aware of making such a clatter and a noise in the space that I was aware of, uh, you know, heads starting to turn. <laughs> and people were looking at me to see what on earth I was doing with this drawing. And uh, it happened very, very quickly indeed. And in a way, it's not about, you know, what was registered on the paper. It was about trying to kind of replicate some of the machinations and the action and the ferocity that you could see in the image and to try and register that on the page. That's really what the drawing is about. Also, to spend a lot of time with just one or two pieces of work is something that we do much more rarely, I think, in our contemporary lives, that everything seems to have a kind of speed usually looking at JPEGs as opposed to pieces of paper. And uh, it's really nice just to, to have the time. And there's a very particular space and time generated in that room where you know you're allowed just to sit and to look at these images. And uh, that's a very rare thing, I think, these days. And something about being in the print room with just one single drawing is actually a very different thing and the way it's it has all you know, it's all of the paraphernalia surrounding the pieces removed in a way there's a kind of nakedness to the way the drawing just sits there on its own and I don't know it's just the fact of its singularity is actually really interesting because you've nowhere else to look in a way and it becomes a really concentrated act of looking and reading and then going back and thinking and re-looking again and some of these drawings are quite technically uh, incredibly beautifully rendered but there's some detail in them that actually requires some thinking about how they might be uh, resolved or whether they're actually working on more kind of fictional bits of apparatus. Going somewhere else and actually being immersed in a space that's all, all about in a way researching drawings and, and 
operating at a level of seriousness, that you know you're in a context where other people are taking the reading of drawings and looking at drawings and the drawing of drawings very, very seriously. And that kind of atmosphere definitely impacted on the student's experience. In a way, the, the general atmosphere of the space, I think, also lends the experience um, a particular kind of quality and it's a pretty special place actually I think the students definitely registered uh, you know the nature of the of the space that they were in and the seriousness that other people were taking their drawings and they reacted in a very similar way actually and were really concentrated for the you know three hours that we were in the space.